Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I am trying yet another uh, option for camera angles here. So I'm actually over here. Uh, you're probably used to seeing it from just the opposite way around now uh, or looking at me. But I thought this might be an easier way of sort of presenting you with how things look and giving you uh, a different perspective on it. So still get that bird's eye view and hopefully this is uh, just a better camera angle for you guys. So if not, I'll just go back to what I was originally doing and uh, feature my ugly face in this. So anyway, um, I have a bunch of sheaths that I've just done for uh, my good friend BJ Hill. And you guys might have already seen some of the videos that we did or that I did on his work before. Uh, he had done some acid wash jobs for me and uh, traded me a couple knives and I did some sheath work for him. And so we've we've gone at that same process again. So I've got a pile of stuff, and I think I'm gonna actually just break these up into individual videos, uh, both because my phone's like switched to this weird thing where it's only giving me 10 minutes at a time to record. So I either have to splice a bunch of 10 minute clips, or um, just do them in smaller chunks and upload separate videos. So I'll do that, and I think it'll be better for you guys because you'll be able to find individual sheaths for knives that you're uh, particularly interested in. So anyway, here we go. We're going to start with uh, this here, this plum hatchet, plum camp hatchet. I apologize for the angle and lighting if it's not good. I'm going to try to like just get a bunch of different views of everything so that you can see it all. And all right. So first things first, you see this leather handle wrap. <clears throat> well, it's actually made of Black Raptor Kydex. Um, this was something that he was interested in having me do. And uh, he asked if I could do it out of Kydex. And I figured I probably could. So we gave it a shot. And I think it turned out really nicely. So you can see I've done rivets down the sides. And this is actual uh, leather lace that I've uh, tied in there. So we've got that. And the same thing for the paracord handle. Or not paracord, but same leather lace for the handle. Actually, uh, I didn't tie these off. I should tell you. Rachel Gordon of Baby Steps of Boldness tied those off. She does really great paracord work and bracelets and stuff like that. So I had her do these for me. Um, as far as the sheath itself goes, this is in Cryptech Neptune. And he asked if I could attach <coughs> some molly clips to hook it to a pack. So that's what we have here. And the reason I did it with that extra layer of black on there instead of just, you know, creating um, mold outs for the hardware in the Neptune itself was because, one, I think it looks cool to have that second color added on there. But, two, it really does strengthen the sheath overall. Having that third layer, uh, especially down uh, next to the rivets, makes everything so much more uh, just rigid and hefty. So... Uh, this thing should hold up for many, many years. So that's it. Uh, taking it on and off is just as simple as grip it and rip it to remove it. It does help if you use your thumb to kind of flex the kydex here and get it out of there. And then putting it back, you just have to sort of rotate it in. You can hear a little click. Some of them have a bigger click than others when you're uh, putting it back in, but this one is a pretty small click. And we got, of course, the logo stamped right in the front there. So, all right, that's what I got. <clears throat> if you guys like this sheath, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I ask you to hit that subscribe button. Join the, join the uh, community here. And uh, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think of this and share it with all your friends. Thanks for tuning in, guys. God bless.